getting back to Afghanistan, is that uh, in the past, like the article you wrote, in the past the Soviet Union used 600,000 troops and billions of dollars over 10 years, and yet they didn't basically succeed in any of their goals. So I, what I'd like to know is that why, why does Mitch General Hill and the conservative government think they're going to be any different? I mean, you can't bring democracy at the barrel of a gun or a cannon. You have to bring it through the people. Well, that, there's been a, a long uh, history uh, of attempts to conquer Afghanistan. Alexander the Great uh, tried it to, to his, uh, his uh, regret. Uh, then uh, the British uh, have tried twice in their, at the height of their colonial empire to control Afghanistan. They were driven out. Uh, you're right, I mentioned the Soviet example, that the Soviets put 600,000 troops through Afghanistan, and they spent uh, tens of billions of dollars in aid uh, to help rebuild the country. The Soviets put a lot more into Afghanistan uh, uh, than uh, the West is doing now in terms of actual aid uh, to the country, but even that, in the end, they were forced out, and it, that played the, that debacle played a a role in the downfall of the Soviet Union. So so uh, the question is, why does Canada think that it can send troops there and prevail, which is what General Hillier has said that we're going to, how did he put it, we're going to root out the scumbags, I think is the way he put it, and uh, saying, uh, saying we're going to stay there till the mission is done. And they've talked this... Uh, 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 this bragging kind of talk about how they're going to uh, kick the Taliban around and uh, emerge victorious. But if you look at history, much bigger countries than than Canada have come out of Afghanistan with a bloody nose, and I suspect that's what's going to happen to Canada at the end of the day. So the question becomes, why are we there? Even the British now are saying that the war can't be won uh, by by the West and that we're losing it. Uh, a recent study there. So the question becomes, what are we doing there? David, uh, we're going to have to wrap up pretty quick because we have to continue on with our second interview. But I, we just have uh, one last question for you. Uh, in Afghanistan, actually, I'll ask, Tanya wants to ask the question. Hi, David. Hi. Um, I just wanted to um, ask about uh, something that's been in the mainstream media lately, um, the uh, opium production in Afghanistan, um, I was reading in a Guardian article that the country accounted for 92% of the world's illegal opium production, mm -hmm. but um, some organizations have suggested that um, the solution would be to legalize this opium production to um, make up for the uh, lack or the need for uh, painkillers and morphine um, in in various countries. Uh, yes. Do you have a comment on that? Well, yes. Uh, you know, the the the, the poppy, the uh, uh, production, constitutes over 90 percent of Afghanistan's exports. This is the main uh, uh, commodity that, uh, that the Afghan people live by. It's the, the farmers that are growing it. It's their main source of livelihood. The Americans are going in, uh, attempting to eradicate, uh, plow down, and now they're talking about spraying. Uh, uh, chemicals over the country to destroy it. Canada's been helping with that. Can you imagine what kind of result uh, a poor farmer who uh, has his only crop destroyed, they don't have social assistance, they don't have programs like that to help uh, the farmer's family survive. If he loses his crop, they're facing starvation. So this uh, uh, attempt that we're saying that we're going to help the Afghan people but at the same time bombing them and destroying their main source of livelihood, it's no wonder that the campaign is backfiring. But there's, as you point out, there's a tremendous need for for uh, the, the poppy in terms of uh, the production of morphine and uh, legal uh, pharmaceuticals around the world. In fact, there's a program now that British farmers are being asked to participate in growing poppies in Britain to fill this shortfall. And why not uh, use this production for legal purposes, as you point out? There are many calling for this, and uh, Stéphane Dion has, has called for this, too, that the, the production that the, the farmers of Afghanistan are, are creating should be used for legal purposes so that they can make their li livelihood. And I think this uh, has to be looked at in a serious way. And uh, I know you're running short of time there, and so I'll just mention that we have a website. I have a website. It's uh, davidorchard.com where people can uh, see the articles I've, I've written on this issue. And uh, a toll-free number, too, it's one eight seven seven 
we stand, as in we stand on guard for thee. That's one eight seven seven. We stand. People can contact us if they want uh, more information about the articles we've written on on our involvement in Afghanistan. Well, thank you very much for agreeing to come on the show today, David. And uh, you have a great day. Thank you very much, and the same to you. And uh, I think if people will raise their voice across the country in terms of of uh, letters to the opposition parties, uh, courtesy copies to them, to the Prime Minister, so that he knows from one end of the country to the other that Canadians want their military used to protect our country, but not to uh, uh, inflict agony on, on the poor third world countries. And we need to raise a voice across the country on this issue, in my view. Well, I, I agree with that totally, David. I think that the Canadian troops should be back in Canada where they belong, and the money that's now being wasted over in Afghanistan should be put towards uh, education, health care, and social housing. Yes, well, I agree, and, and I encourage people, if they want to take a look at my website, as I say, it's davidorchard.com, and uh, help us in this uh, in this battle. Well, thank you very much, David, and we're going to continue on with our next guest. This is CFRO 102.7.